Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to my channel, Celestial Farm Girl here, and we're here to do a reading for Virgos today. Uh, the moon is in the sign of Virgo right now, along with uh, Jupiter, Saturn, and um, the moon is square Jupiter, which might make having feelings a little tough, you know. That square is, you know, it... it, it well, it's a square. They squared off and, you know, they're in opposition to one another. So, um, you know, the moon wants to have feelings and Jupiter wants to expand. So if they can do this together, they'll be growing, right? They'll be growing, growing in their feelings through their emotions. Um, we also have um, the sun trying uh, Saturn. And right now, you know, Saturn's all about achievements and a discipline to accomplish those things. And so the, um, the sun shining through that, should be bringing this about fairly easy, you know, shining through, just, you know, lending a helping hand, right? I got to get this up here so I can see it. And we have the moon um, in um, conjunction with Saturn here. And so that even makes it a little bit tougher. But if you can work through any of those problems of your feelings, if you can just try to go ahead and feel them, Virgo, allow them to flow through, uh, uh, it will feel so much better. And then we have the sun and moon in sextile, which means your divine feminine and your divine masculine are working together and balancing everything out. Now, as we go into this reading, I just wanted to make a point that uh, something I looked up while I was researching Virgo, I myself am a Virgo, is that our glyph, the M and what looks like a P, uh, is actually a sheaf of wheat, right? And the M stay, stands for maiden, and the sheaf of wheat stands for the harvest. And I wanted to point out that this is not about a gender thing, and I kind of completely understand, because Virgos, we want to be of use to the world. We want to know that we've left this world in a better place. And there we go, the gender thing is out, because Virgos are both male and female. What it means is we plant seeds. We're gardeners in a way, whether metaphysically or spiritually or, 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 or in the physical but we plant seeds and as we plant those seeds and watch them grow we tend to want to make sure all the weeds are getting out we're looking over all the details right to make sure that this this thing that we're growing has all the opportunity in the world to get to fruitation and that is the harvest and that is the concept of the virgo her, it's not about being a male or female, even though she was depicted in the feminine. It's about, you know, planting seeds, watching over your seeds while they grow, whether it's babies, ideas, business ventures, money, capital, I don't know, anything that you love and need to nurture while it's raising up, whether you're a male or female, don't matter. The, the, the whole concept is to get it all the way to harvest. Now, in the old days, it was the maidens that planted the seeds and, and they harvested, right? We, we tended the garden. It was our jobs. It was what we did. The men hunted and we tended. <clears throat> but this doesn't take away the male Virgos, okay? I love you guys too. Just remember, you have a nurturing side inside of you that wants to help and, and help things heal and help things be happy. You want to know you've done a good job. You want to feel like you've accomplished a role on this planet in making things better. There we go. Okay, need to go no further. Let's roll the dice. I love Virgo. I love being a Virgo. I love my status as uh, as a natural nurturer, you know, and um, 
one other important thing I want to important thing <laughs> important thing I want to talk to you about is um, we're ruled by Mercury okay so it's all about technology analyzing and craft taking things that are already known and turning them into using those ideas but refining them and making them into something better or more productive or something that can, you know, tweak it up just again, okay? We have Pluto. We have Capricorn. Earth showed up and seven. September. That is seven, right? September. Isn't it funny that they have September for seven Sept and seven is the same thing. Oct and eight is the same thing. But September is the sixth zodiac sign. And October is the seventh. But anyway, we've got seven. So some of you guys might have Libra in your placements. Um, um, You know, seven is a very spiritual number. It means being led kind of like well down the rabbit hole and if anybody is that peculiar to look for something as Alice was it seems like of all those signs up there it would be Virgo that would head down the rabbit hole yeah yeah I believe so see Capricorn's all about achieving Uh, Taurus is all about gaining Virgo is all about service, so I wouldn't be surprised that she would follow the, follow the rabbit down the hole, right? I mean, it only makes sense. Okay, I don't see no, well, there's Pluto. Oh my God, I didn't even mention that, talking about going down the rabbit hole. Okay, maybe we're talking to some people out there that are kind of like Alice. They follow peculiar things and they like oddities and strange and, you know, they just kind of like, they, they don't fit inside the box very well. They're either their arms poking out or their head or they're looking out, right? You just can't put a Virgo in the box. Okay. Oh, let's get some charms, Virgo. Yeah, I'm having fun. I hope you guys are too. And these little tidbits are really kind of interesting. And I love the thing about the the state of being. Virgo is neither male nor female. She is both. And Virgo is about a state of being. A state of being. Being happy with yourself. Oh, she's a mermaid. He's a merman. Diving deep down into the depths of your soul learning who you are and why you're here and then you know coming back up to the top and singing your song singing your song the sun shines the sun is shining uv buddy there's your UV, buddy. <laughs> the sun, and boy, it has been hot lately. We've been hitting 110 around here. Ooh, doggies. And then we have this, the palm tree. And whenever I see this, for whatever reason, it reminds me of our ancient roots in Sumeria. And Anna always comes to mind. She fought for justice. She was a part of the Anunnaki and she fought for the people of this planet. Hardcore. She defied all the male patriarchal system. And, um, you know, and when I, when I talk about patriarchal, I'm so sorry that it falls into the lineage of males, but it really does. And the patriarchal system has really been hard on justice and equality and fairness, right? They just think about that, okay? The patriarchs of this day and age and for the past thousands of years had did their best to overcome, overtake this planet and literally own it. But that's not the way it's supposed to be. And we're here to break that. We're here to break that, stop that right away, as soon as we can, right? Not through war, but by recognizing 
that this planet cannot belong to any one family or any one percent, that it belongs to all of us, including nature, the animals, the bugs, the birds, the bees. We all own this planet. And, you know, but until we recognize that, they're going to let, they're going to do to us whatever they want to do. Okay. So, Virgo, you're wonderful at analyzing and you're very crafty. When I read that, I just busted a gut, right? Because crafting can be anything. Uh, it can be from knitting grandma's sweater to creating spells, right? A cult. It could be, and it's usually odd things that you find yourself wanting to get into. Okay. Here we go. Let's draw a card and see what Virgo is doing under the moon. Righty. Oh, ooh. We got two. Ah, oh, three of Earth. Gaia rhythms. Um, building. Building harmony within yourself with Mother Nature and with the web. There was two cards that come up there. So as you can see here, you're playing the tune. And speaking of which, I have Virgo crystal bowls playing right now for us, okay? Um, look at this. Gaia, Mother Earth. And of course, you are the Mother Earth. You're the maiden, mother, and the crone, right? You're Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, right? All rolled into one, the Earth sign. And this is the three. Oh, look, I got three. Yeah, get that, Virgo. So Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, you're all just kind of like rolled up into that, this aggro of all these high qualities of nature and love and rhythm and music and groundedness. And the angels are looking over your shoulder. You're full-hearted. Whether you're a man or a woman, this is somebody that just loves to love. Yeah, just loves to love. The sign of the well. The well, the deep, deep well. And we did have the mermaid, didn't we? And this is a card of Earth. This is an Earth card. Yeah, Virgo, you showed up. You showed up in the guise of Gaia. She was made Mother Crone too, huh? Mother Gaia. Yes, and then we got this. You're playing your tune all around the world. Your collective consciousness and the consciousness of creation, basically, around this planet. You're playing a tune for all of us, Virgo. You're, you're bringing in these beautiful pastel, beautiful colors of your soul. And look again here, we have more beautiful colors, Virgo. Look at all those colors that you're bringing into the collective according to the tune you're playing on your machine, which is your body, right? How you feel, how you love, how you think, you know, what you expect out of the future. You are a healer and you are leaving the planet in a better place. You're the world is better because you're here. Right, Virgo? The world is better because you're here. It's more compassionate. It's more empathetic. More hands are reaching out to begin to weave with the web. More creators are stepping up and believing in themselves, right? More and more and more. Through the Gaia rhythms and the tune that you play in your spirit, in your soul, in your mind, in your heart, across the mountains, over the trees, and through, through 
the crystal grids. Oh, that's what this is. That's the net, right? The crystal grid that runs beneath this earth and through the earth, all four corners. <clears throat> it says you're coming full circle, Virgo, which means you're tightening up the spiral, right? As you come around and circle around full circle, it just gets a little tighter, right? A little tighter, a little tighter, which means you get more practical, more practical, more, more steadied, more studied, more, um, more fine-tuned, more fine-tuned and in harmony, more fine-tuned and in harmony with nature, with the seasons, with the elements, with how, you know, with with growth in nature and how how it grows. It's beautiful. I love you, Virgo. I love being a Virgo. Yeah, I'm. I I have a. I think I'm like a double Virgo. One of these days, I'm going to do my chart. I'm reading up on astrology a little bit at a time. Okay, it's a lot to take in. Very technical. Uh, astrologers might as well be doctors, right? Right? <laughs> Nine of Earth. There you are, Virgo. You showed up again. Nine of Pentacles. There she is. Look at there. Petting the birds and the rabbits, taking care of all life. Look at that. A bird in hand. No, the rabbit's in her hand and the bird's on the ground and she's petting it. Those are your ancestors leading and guiding you, right? The animal spirits. The swirls of wisdom, Celtic. The Celtic swirls of wisdom that are, you might have some Celtic uh, bloodline, Irish, Scottish. Or maybe even all the way back to Lemuria. Look, she's blue. The blue people. This represents water. The red does. And the moon all over. <laughs> Virgo moon. That's what we're doing. Look at the moon everywhere, guys. And and the and the um, yeah, she represents Virgo. And look, the Virgo moon. Just all feeling lots of love, are you, Virgo? Yeah, you're feeling lots of love, watching out for nature, watching out for the little critters, protector, protectress. Nine of Earths, man, that Nine of Pentacles, that's, you know, you're in the garden, you're happy. Oh, harvesting, what was I saying about that? You may be getting ready to harvest right now. <clears throat> harvest season's a couple months away. The fall, that's when we harvest, Virgo. I don't know what kind of seeds you've been planting, but they've been coming up from all around the world. Full of balance, harmony, um, love, gentleness, healing, um, practicality nature is involved in every step of the way Virgo moon working on the earth the world coming full circle what else do we want to let Virgo know that she probably already knows this is just going to resonate with you so you know you already know what I'm saying full of Fire and passion, six of fire, victory, balance, your heart is a flame, changing, creating, burning away that which don't work, planting new, six of fire, you have a passion, you're passionate about whatever it is you're doing. And um, you're absolutely taking the steps 
This is victory. This is this is uh, overcoming and burning away all things that don't suit you. This is being in your own energy, being proud of who you are. Look at that, holding your heart up for the world to see. Burning bright and shining. In love with yourself, your life, and everything that you do, you love it. And that's what we should do. We should never do nothing that we don't love. If we, if it makes us resentful, if it makes us hate it, if we don't like what we're doing, you know, we shouldn't do it. This is somebody that does and only does what they love. They never put themselves through things that they hate or don't want to be a part of. They stand strong in their power forever strong in victory uh, who's going to come close and say no who's going to you know who's walking up to this woman and saying uh, I don't like the way you're doing things ain't nobody going to do that or man you're on fire you're lit like you're hot like like not I mean you're probably hot beautiful too and you're probably very hot in a passionate way as well but this is powerful, hot, and standing, standing up for yourself and standing up for those who are with you, burning away all that doesn't, uh, you know, serve a purpose in your life. Victory. Victory. Victory, Virgo, victory. Okay, should we do one more? Or let's get an animal card, okay? I love these animal cards. I don't use them enough. Look at their perseverance on the bottom. The dark horse. You're the one that they didn't think would get there, right? You're the one that everybody counted out. You're the one that, you know, maybe a lot of people didn't give much credit to. <laughs> but you're also the one that showed them, right, Virgo? You showed them. They didn't have to believe in you. You had to believe in you. That's all that mattered, right? You believe in you. And from there, that's all that matters. <clears throat> smile at the naysayers. Smile at those that don't. You know, let everybody have their own mind and own opinion. But we analyze and we craft and we work. Ooh, you have protection. Or you are protection. You're protected, and you are a protector. How's that? <clears throat> Virgo, you are supported and guided by loving forces. Fear not, Virgo. Your path ahead is secure, and you will reach your goal. Follow your heart. It knows the way. You are divinely protected at all times. You are protected by the lion, Leo. Your next-door neighbor must love you, Virgo. <laughs> you must be loved by the Leo because he got your back. He says, don't worry, my earth angel. I got the fire for you. Stay there. I don't know. Maybe you guys know a Leo that's in love with you. Who knows, right? Okay, Virgo, well, I really had a lot of fun doing this reading. I hope you have some fun, too. Let's not take things too seriously. Let's remember that we're on this planet, not only take responsibility for our actions, but to have fun, too. And you have a great day. Please like, share, subscribe. I love you, Virgo. Bye-bye.